You know who's not running a genius campaign? Joe Biden. <laughs> Joe, imagine being Joe Biden. Imagine running for president. Okay, the highest office in the land, the most powerful position in the entire world. Imagine running for president and coming out and saying one thing and then doubling down on it when you accept your nomination and saying, if I were president, I'm going to do this. And then realizing what you said you were going to do is totally illegal. And then you had to go out and you had to walk it all back and say, you know what I said I was going to do that? I'm not going to do that anymore. That's literally what happened to Joe Biden over the weekend. Joe Biden, you may remember, he was big about mandating everybody wear a mask. He said on day one, I'm going to make sure that we have a mask mandate, a national mask mandate. Because it's, what do you say? Something about it being patriotic. Well, we have, the, we have the clip here. Listen carefully. Here he is. We'll have a national mandate to wear a mask. Not as a burden, but as a patriotic duty to protect one another. As a patriotic duty to protect one another. That's why we're going we're gonna to have a national mask mandate. And he was really excited about it. Well, <laughs> I guess somebody pulled him aside or I guess somebody actually pulled out a copy of the Constitution and read through it. And they figured out that you can't really mandate that Americans wear masks. You can't really do that. You can't force everybody in the country, all 320 million people, to, to, to wear a mask for three months or three days or three hours or three minutes even. And so now over the weekend, he and his cohort, Kamala Harris, have both have, had to take the opportunity to basically walk back those statements. He had, they had to say, you know what, I realize you can't. And in fact, Joe Biden even said it's, it's unconstitutional. This was a report in Arizona. He was doing an interview. There's a constitutional issue whether the federal government could issue such a mandate. I don't think constitutionally they could, so I wouldn't issue a mandate. So, by the way, two interesting things. By the way, he's trying to say constitutionally, and he's having trouble with that. I don't think constitutionally they could. Constitutionally. And then he says, I would not order a mandate. So I wouldn't issue a mandate. But he, but he literally just said when he was accepting his, uh, his his nomination that he would. We'll have a national mandate to wear a mask. We'll have a national mandate to wear a mask. But you know what? I'm not going to actually issue a mandate. And Kamala Harris was grilled by Dana Bash on CNN. They had to sit down. And Dana Bash brought her up to her and said, you know, you've said this about the masks. Would you actually do it? Would a Biden-Harris administration support a federal mask mandate? So the Biden-Harris position on this is that leaders must lead. And one of the ways leaders lead is they set standards. Okay, so leaders lead by setting standards. Now, that's different than a mandate. So Dana Bash comes back and says, so what are you saying? Is this a, a, a mandate or a standard? Would it be a federal mandate under the Biden-Harris administration? It would be a standard. It would be a standard. Oh, see, we realized, we realized that we tipped our cards. We realized that we are such extreme socialists and we want total control of the government and the people. We don't only just want to take your money and tell you what health care you're going to get or what you're going to learn in school or what history we want want you to learn we only want you to learn the part of history that benefits us we are going to we're going to try to control every aspect of your life and we're going to force you to wear a mask probably it didn't poll very well probably they asked a lot of people hey what did you think about joe biden saying he's going to force every american to wear a mask and they got a lot of negative pushback on that so now it's not so much a mandate it's a standard Oh, but here's the one thing Kamala Harris wants you to know about. We each have to sacrifice for the sake of the nation and the collective. We each have to sacrifice for the state of the nation, for the uh, sake of the nation and the collective. You know who used the word collective? A guy named Karl Marx. We are not a collective. We are a country. There's a big difference.